Hi everyone, Damsels in DIY here. Today we're going to show you how to make these beautiful custom wings that fit right into either a corset or a tight fitting vest. That means they're strapless, which means no ugly straps on your costume. This is part two in our flower dress sequence and we're so excited to show you how to make it. Let's get started. To make these fairy wings you will need a sewing machine, two wire cutters and pliers, several large mixing bowls, several painter pails, scissors, measuring tape, fabric marking tool, a couple of large tarps or large sheets of painter's plastic, clothesline, sponge paintbrushes, a larger hand sewing needle, a decent number of clothespins, hand condoms, fabric strips to match your corset or vest, a corset or tight fitting vest, sheer fabric of a light color if you plan to paint your fabric, sewing machine thread, a sturdy coat thread in your project color of choice, or maybe even wax thread, a spool of 17 to 14 gauge electric fence wire, 14 gauges stronger, soft fabric paint, and fabric stiffener. Take your corset or vest and figure out where you are going to be placing your wing inserts. We placed ours along the lacing edges of the corset. Take your fabric and cut 2 inch by 10 inch strips from it. Zigzag stitch and roll hem the edges of these pieces to secure them from fraying. Sew the strips from the top edge of your corset or vest down as far as they can go using an 8 inch seam allowance to secure them to your garment. Sew along the bottom edge and then back up to the top on the other side while leaving the top edge open like a pocket. Make sure to stitch over the upper edges a few times to make sure they are well secured. Once that is done, your wing inserts are ready to go. Now take your wing fabric and lay it out over a large surface for cutting. Before you cut your wings, you will need to determine what you are making and what size they need to be. You can design any style of wing. Today we are designing some butterfly wings that will be painted in a similar style to our petal dress. There will be two pieces for each wing, a lower and an upper wing. Our lower one will be shaped like this and our upper like this. Cut out two of each wing shape so that you have one piece for each wing. Here we did it by folding over the fabric so that we could cut out both pieces at once. Once you have your shapes cut out, zigzag stitch the edges with matching thread colors. Once you have these pieces stitched, they are ready to be painted. When painting your wings, you have several options. You can use one color of paint and just dye your wings with the paint, or you can do pattern paint jobs by adding certain colors to drip run through the wings. When doing those first paint jobs, don't paint any detail shapes on the petals yet. That will come later. Before doing this step, get your clothesline up and clothespins ready. Make sure you have your painter's tarping placed beneath this area to catch any paint drips. To paint the wings, we used Tulip Soft Fabric Paints and watered them down in bowls like this. Then we lay our wing shapes down and paint the colors we want in certain areas on the wings or just dunk the wings into the paint to get a whole solid color. If you paint your colors on, use the foam brushes to get an even color. Next we hang these wings to dry by a single clothespin placed at the center of the back edge side of the wing so that the wing will drip dry. This will also allow the colors to run a tad, making the wings look pretty when they are done drying. Once your wings are dry, you can add any main details you want. This can include lines in the wings, fold details, and patterns if you so choose. When doing this, use slightly less watered down paint to get stronger details. Wait at least 30 minutes after painting these extra details, then either pat out the extra moisture lightly with a paper towel and continue to dry them, or hang them with multiple pins on your clothesline. Once your wings are dry, it is time to stiffen them. Lay out a new section of painter's tarp on the ground so that it is large enough to dry all the wings on when they are laid out flat. Take one of your mixing bowls and fill it with a mixture of one to one stiffener to water. Mix this thoroughly and then dunk your wings into the mixture. Now pull them out one by one, wring them out, and then carefully lay them flat on the tarp. I would definitely wear gloves for this part as the stiffener is irritating to the skin. Once all your wings are dry, they have finished their primary wet process and can now be sewn to their wires. Now, this is tricky. Measure the outer edge of your wing shapes and add an extra 20 inches to that measurement. Cut out these wire lengths. Now get ready to sew the wire to your wings. Make sure that you have a foot in your sewing machine that has a center space like this on it. You need something that will help you guide the wire as you go. Take your wing and get it ready under the foot with the wire. 
Make sure that the 10 inches of wire is sticking out above the beginning of the wing like this. Carefully place your sewing foot down centered on the wire and make sure that your machine is set to the widest zigzag stitch possible. You want to start your stitch at the upper position where your wing will touch your back and go all around the shape until it connects back at the same spot. When sewing the wings, bend the wires as you go around sharp turns and go very carefully. Don't be shocked if you break several needles during this process. We definitely did. Once all your wing shapes have been sewn to wires, it is time to use your two set of pliers to twist the two pieces of wire together and then curl the last bit at the bottom so that they won't poke. Now take some sturdy thread and your hand sewing needle, fasten the wings together at their meeting points as well as to their wires when you can. We also discovered after making our wings that a nice way to finish them off is to take some ribbon or some torn fabric strips and hot glue them around the wire stems. With that, you have a finished fairy wing ready to be added to an awesome flower dress costume. These are strapless, meaning no ugly white or black straps for your fairy costume if you are wearing a corset or very tight vest. We hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. This is part two in our rose gown series. The next video we're putting out in the series is going to be how to make the rose gown petals for the petal skirt. We might have to hold off on doing the rose petals because of weather. We need, you know, clear weather so that they can dry and then we can dye it outside. But we will always have a video for every week. So we hope you stay tuned. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>